2076. Three box All right, so while I'm doing this, guys, just going to throw this out there. Is there any questions you guys have ever wanted to honestly ask that I probably could answer without it getting uh, too crazy in depth on stuff? At least keep the conversation flowing nicely today. Glenn, you know what? As a, I, I like going to casinos. And I can tell you, when I lose at a casino, I can tell you my mentality is I don't want to necessarily come back very quickly. <laughs> when I win, I want to come back. Anyone who does uh, sports cards and runs a store, you absolutely should want every one of your customers to get the biggest cards possible because all that will happen is they will come back quicker. Uh, why do they attract? Because generally when you are one of the biggest, unfortunately, you get the most trolls. It's just a nat like the nature of the beast. Sadly. We've got a sensational of Kuzma for the Lakers. Like, realistically, if you think about it, why would you go to a channel that has, like, two people on the channel and try to troll two people? It's a lot more fun to go to a channel that has, like, 30, 40, 50 people and troll a whole bunch. Edwards! Timberwolves. Edwards. Impact. And a rookie of Winston for Washington. But I am down. If any of you guys have any legit questions about industry stuff, I'm happy to go... You know, chat about some stuff. Sensational John Wall for the Wizards. John Wall. Dominance of Ben Simmons. 76ers. And a rookie of Asil for the Spurs. We've got a silver of Lopez. It is not an unusual occurrence, unfortunately, for us, uh, Blair, on this. Yeah. When you are arguably one of the biggest, probably the biggest in hockey, it's going to happen. It's just sad. Magic Johnson. I believe Lakers, right? Team USA card. Glenn, I'm still leery on them. Maldon OKC. I feel like they're never going to go away. I just don't know if they're going to be as big as we all thought they were. I, I think it's just a hard thing for a lot of people to get used to, right? We've got a purple shockwave of Beasley. For the Timberwolves. And base. Yeah, I'm legit curious to see that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the, po the positivity on that. It means a lot. Booker dominance for the Suns. I love the one episode, uh, Golden, you know, with the, with the hotel. You know, guys over there heard from this guy over here. And then this guy did this and said they're not. I love that. Booker green for the Suns. But I heard there's a new little turtle. <laughs> Ramsey for Sacramento. Rookie. We've got a silver of Porter Jr. for the Nuggets. Silver. We've got an Okaro for Cleveland. Emergent. We've got a purple shockwave of Pashal for the Warriors. Have a good one, sir. Avdija for the Wizards, rookie. We've 
we've got an instant impact of Lewis Jr. for the Pelicans. Green of Paul George for the Clippers. Paul George, Clippers. My only, so I'll tell you one concern I have for the hobby. I do wonder how many stores, specifically in the other sports, not necessarily hockey. We've got a Beal for the Wizards. How many of the other guys overloaded on inventory and uh, are going to basically start just beating each other up? Achua for the Heat, Emergent. And Okongwu for the Hawks. Yeah, I saw the tops thing. I, I don't know too many more details on it. I don't know if it's going to be a good long term or bad, but Aiton for the Suns. I think that was smart on tops end, to be honest. Silver. And a Bay for the Pistons. We've got a dominant Ben Simmons. Yeah, Golden's going to be interesting. A purple shockwave of wood for the... Is it Pistons, I think? Yeah, Pistons. And an Okaru for the Cavs rookie. We've got a dominant green of Antetokounmpo for the Bucks. And we've got a maxi for the 76ers. The other one that I'm genuinely curious about is his product of Tops and Panini going to be higher valued or lower? Randall for the Knicks. Same with the high end stuff. Green and base.